Oh man, here we go. We're back with another crazy one. Had to bring back Rainwater. He's sitting on the popular couch. Yeah, it's popular. The brown couch, man. How you doing? You good? I thought, yeah, you'll go word this bitch out, bro. <laughs> Jumping up and down like a trampoline. Then we need that couch. Man, I mean, shit, news broke last month that you you just won the case. Yeah, I was blessed. I was blessed. I put that money up for, for my kids in the future. If, if I get it. Mm. If I get it. I'm going to get it, but when I get it. I heard the trial was, was insane, though. Man, it was crazy. It was all kind of like, you're thinking like the OJ Simpson trial downtown. Uh, this off <laughs> off, off a lawsuit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, it was a shit. lot of tension in the room? Yeah, they were trying to punk me. Who? Uh, uh, him and his entourage. Mm. They, was, they kept trying to punk me. Punk me, punk me. Trying to get me not to go do do this, do that. My mind made up. I don't give a damn. Listen, I'm in time of my life. I don't give a damn what nobody say about me, laugh about me. I'm not doing it for the public. I'm doing it for my kids. When I come from, it's the art of war. I'm going to tell, fight. Uh, if, I have to, if I have to shoot you to get me off me, However I need to do to live, to go home to my kids, that's what I'm doing. Mm. So straight up. So I hope they stop messing with me. Charleston said you was capped, though. How I'm capped? Sean, that's the dumbest thing. What doctor would do surgery on a person who don't need it? You told him that. I didn't tell him shit. That's a man. And after the while, after realizing Charleston is very ignorant, you said I faked the surgery to sue this man. Man, you know, I can't bowl. I can't. Like I used to another day. So you think I'm gonna just get a hip replaced when in the morning time it's cold? I can't people see me in slides because I can't sit there and put shoes on every day. So you mean to tell me I faked a, a surgery? You didn't even challenge him about this. I did challenge him. It's a him lot of shit that. you ain't been challenged just sitting on that couch and letting these people say what they want to say. Like what? The different shit. Even even the whole Mo3 was jealous. Stop, stop. Don't do that, bro. Stop. First of all, stop that. Why do everybody Stop that. After they fall off, they got to blame somebody else from, from falling off. I, I I sit there and told Charleston and yell. I said, why couldn't... I said, I said actually, Mo3 was the eyeball. He was the one that had to go against the, everybody. Yeah. He was the one that they were saying... He was the broke nigga from McKinney. Yeah, he was. So I said that. Yeah, but you mean I didn't challenge But you got to stop him. Like, like, I don't got to... You want me to do the rainwater narrative. No. I don't... Everything don't got to be the rainwater Sean, narrative. Sean, listen, Sean. I give you praise, like you know how to break people on the internet. You broke a bunch of characters. J Mains, this Charleston White, yeah, you, the, me, the a lot of people, like even the the, the Yayos, the Mo Threes, the Yellows, the Nali. You have broken, but you have the power to to strong. You destroyed Yayo in that interview. I didn't destroy Yayo at That's all. That's a wrap. I let Yayo be Yayo. You should have cut some of that shit out. How? You should have. Like what? Man, just come that we are gonna talk about something else. We are gonna talk about something. That's what you should have said. We are gonna talk about something else, bro. In the last two interviews, the last three interviews, but it, I don't apply to me because I'm not violent. Um, the yellow and Charleston White, I could have just got mad at both of them. The Rallo and Boosie. The Rallo and Boosie. And I like Rallo. You let Rallo get on here and say Boosie ain't making 150000 Now you should have cut it out. I didn't. I argued with him. I, I disagreed with then him. Then you let Yella come right here. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. Uh, I disagreed with uh, Rallo. Yes, but I, I feel like he could make one hundred fifty a, a weekend. I know, of course. Let me tell Features. You hold on, wait, wait, wait. Third, I think thirty, forty a show. Right. Ten, twenty at the party, and I think he can get ten thousand features a weekend. I think that's. You should have just cut it out. It wasn't needed. Those are my two favorite people in the world right now, in the rap world right now. Ray, I got, shut the no, hell I, no, up, no, man. I got Rallo right here. Let me tell you this. Boosie, Boosie have taught us how to be a father. Boosie have taught us how to hustle. Boosie make well over 50000 a week. Then you got, they, they're like, Boosie is my favorite rap person in the world because he gave me a chance and fed my kids and Mo3 kids where they don't have to live and go without so life. So you want me to cut out some parts of this interview that may hurt certain people? If feelings? it's needed. If it's needed. But then I'm not here to hurt nobody. I'm just telling the truth. Then you got Rallo. Rallo taking up a dog. Beautiful thing. Right? Beautiful thing. Then you got Yayo up here getting it to a South Walker that could potentially start a war. That is two people in in the end. Of, listen, now I'm here to tell you. I didn't, I didn't expect that energy from Yayo. It was supposed to be me. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. It was supposed to be me, Yayo, and Charleston. And Charleston didn't show up. And Yayo had to like to get off his chest. I had no idea about him feeling blackballed or it. How was he blackballed? I, Good I music can never be blackballed. I don't think he's blackballed. Yeah, he's not blackballed. I Good. told him that. It's it's listen, 
He's still living in a time of. I don't see songs going around telling people not to work with him. I no, just don't no, see no, that. no, 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 it's not. And so what? What? It, what it do? It's it's, it, it, it's potential fans. Houston versus that Fort Worth. And now you and now I had South Walk come out here to do a video for Mo Three, and and we can't do that no more because the fed, the police think it's not it's gonna be a whole bunch of situations. So we can't do it no more. The police called and, and told me I can't get my permits no more. So at the end of the day, if somebody die in this situation. You have to pay for the funeral. I gotta pay for it, bro. They it's my fault. They own the bird. You you should have cut it. You should let. You can't let people can't let Yayo do that. Yeah, Yayo, I'm sorry. I'm here to say, go back to being a father. When you first got out of jail, you was doing something ain't no rapper could do is be a full time father. I told Yayo. I said, look, you can go back to being a character, but you don't have to crash out. He take it too far. He takes it too far. He, ta- he takes it too I far. Said, I said, I said, you don't have to come at any rappers. You don't have to do that. I told him that. Are we? I told him that. Yayo wants to get shit off his chest. He felt like Sauce went on a media run and academics no jumper that was mentioning his name. He wanted to say what he had to say. Man, he took it too far. I think, I think, I think Ye- all Yayo has to do is just go back to just making music. No. He don't have to fight Sauce. I don't think he should fight CJ. I don't think none of that's needed. Uh, listen, Texas is big enough for everybody to coexist. We have we was at the barbershop, and we all had a, a bet. So my, the dude was, do y'all think Yayo gonna go to jail before December or get killed before December? And I bet a thousand dollars he go to jail before December. That's yeah. a logical bet because at the end of the day, he's having crash dummy situation. Why are you in Eastwood with your hands in your pants like you just got a gun in your pants? You say, we got a hundred up. I don't agree with none of that. Yeah, we got a hundred up and the feds coming. Bro, you are doing something that's perfect. You are a father right now. You don't have to prove that you're a gangster. You're too much trying to prove that you're a gangster when you have when you are a father. You are raising seeds. All that trying to be gangster, they went away 2015, <clears throat> 16. You can do that back in the day in the Mo 3 num era, in the yellow area in Dallas, Texas, or even around the world, the young boy era, the Fredo Bank era. Right now, right now, you can't do it no more. You are at the age of 29 or 30, and you got fans that still listen to that rah rah gangster sit at 30 years old. They ain't being the father. They don't have nowhere to stay. They still in the crash money, crash, crash, crash dummy era. You are a father. Yeah. You was doing so good. I, I agree, I agree with you. <clears throat> but Yayo feels like the bloggers are creating narratives. People are creating narratives saying that he fell off. Um, and he and he feels blackballed. No, 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 no. Um, I'm, I'm gonna ask like I just asked the last rapper. Do you think he fell off? I don't think he was at where he was at, but I think he can get back there. Yes. Now, it's hard. When Yayo first came out, he was making great hits. Yeah. He was making undeniable. But he's hits. not super saying Yayo no more either. Yeah, I understand that. So now you, so now you, you, you in a whole another character. You evolve into another character. I don't know the Pokemon of uh, uh, terminologies, but you're involved. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So now you gotta take on this new character. Mm-hmm. You have the enough power to. You have enough power and enough influence to make niggas. If if if, if you want a niggas to walk for a million man march, you can do that on the positive note. But that their young 18, 19 year old is gone. Mm, I agree with that. It's gone. I agree. And 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 <clears throat> you did this. You you you, you did the same thing. Mo three. Like, like you, you taught, you taught other Fort Worth rappers how to. You the reason why a lot of people from Fort Worth were beefing and killing each other. Yeah, it was. Yes, he. I all them his sons. When he says I said my son, I, I understand. You have taught people that narrative. Big CJ did it with Big X. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That whole narrative, narrative. It happened to you with the with the old back in the day. So at the end of the day, you can change the narrative to be a uh, uh, outstanding. Uh, I agree with you. I don't agree with nothing Yayo is doing. He's trying to fight CJ, doing all that. But I do think that if he can, he can entertain us without doing all that rah rah. No, he need to get his friends back. Who's his friends? He need to get CJ, Yayo, and Bugatti and PB. I don't need to get back together. That shit was more powerful. I than, think so too. That, that shit was more powerful than the 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 the, the all the little clicks. Ain't no click in Dallas, or ain't no rap group in Dallas would be more powerful for them. They would take over half of Texas like immediately. Mm. That's what they need to do. Like the new Dallas, they need to come back and say, "Old Fort Worth, back together. Hmm. Old Fort Worth, back together." So they would do an old Fort Worth together and put all of them together, and they will take over. I think the, so too. The streets. Y'all beefing is not gonna take over shit. Like, um, people are reaching out for CJ to do an interview. I don't want to do. Like, when does it end? Because it's gonna be 
everybody wants to respond to every interview and it just makes me be in the middle of it. So when you know, does it end? You know, when the, I hate to say this, it ends when the top, when one of the top leaders get killed. That's what it ends. If they don't fix it now, you're going to have a death and people go be upset about their death. And they're going to say, we wonder why I will wish this never happened. Man, you need to end that now. So you think the interview I did with Yayo didn't help him? Uh, it, it, it put the police back in his life. He put the police back in his life. It, it, yeah, uh, uh, I, I give him, the way Fort Worth gang unit work, I give him, I give him a month or two. You'll hear about Yayo getting pulled over going to jail. Like, 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 you should let him take another route. Like, and everybody want that Yayo. But only people, everybody want that type of Charleston White. That, that's the whole Fort Worth, you know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want that type of shit. Because they're betting and wishing that somebody get killed. If you put a picture up of Yayo right now on, 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 your, on your Instagram and just a caption, the whole world will think he got shot or got, or got, got killed. People only go click on that to see what happened to him. The world, the world, the, sometimes the devil will give you every tool in life to k- destroy yourself. And I've seen it happen to my artists. I only think about it with my artists. My artists can actually rap. So his situation is, his situation is, you know, after he passed, you know. Why you keep speaking death on Yale, though? No, because that, 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 the way the actions is, it, no, no, I say he'll go into jail. But the way people act like that, it's like a folio. You have seen it many times. How many people have you interviewed and they went on, 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 your, on your couch to talk about the next person and end up dying? How many? It's a lot. Like, straight up. You just gave yourself a death interview or a jail interview. I have watched different people sit up here and talk about they, they use this platform to kill themselves. Never go on there talking about no beef and shit. Because what your crowd do is, it's the young crowd. They go be in trolling in the fucking comments and make people read them comments and, 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 and make them think bigger than what they is. You can they gonna either make you think you bigger than what you are or you less than what you are. Mm. And wanna prove that you're not less than what they are. I, when Yayo got out, I told him five things to do. I said, do a, a mini show, a small show, to let people know that you can still, people still care about you. I said, get back to your community. And I told him to do like three other things that will go viral on Say Cheese. And he didn't do it. Like I, I, Yayo has potential, but I want him to know that you don't have to crash out. You don't have to fight Sauce. You don't have to embarrass CJ to do your thing. Sauce will be- So that's why I'm saying like, you, you, I, I get what you're saying. I already know people are going to blame me. When Mo3 died, yeah, I blame people blame me. If something happened to Yayo or CJ, somebody's going to blame me. But I'm just letting people know my message in that interview was not to engage or not to in, not to instigate. I was telling, yeah, yo, sit down, bro. You don't. All you gotta do is keep dropping, drop another go, no, no, drop another no visa. It, 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 but nobody. That's that's the back in the day. They like they like the young handsome skinny yo yo. That was back in the day. He I know his frustration frustration. He felt like he missed his time, and I understand that. But that's how God work. The devil will give you the, the the devil when you on top. The devil will give you the tools to destroy yourself. Now you ready to crash out? And I agree too. I feel like if Ye- if 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 Yayo was on top, he wouldn't fight Sauce. No, he wouldn't. He but, wouldn't. But but, but he, that's why he got mad at me when I said you can't be mad at Yellow because Yellow agrees with Sauce. No, no. He, if I was Sauce, I wouldn't fight Yayo either. He should be mad at Yellow. Why? Because that's supposed to be his friend. So he don't got, mean don't mean he gotta agree with everything he said. He said, "How you gonna tell your little bro this? Listen, it's not no lo- listen, but people gotta say it's not no loyalty in this rap game. It's not about not being loyal. You I, don't have to agree with everything he said. No, I right, but you supposed to take his side. You on camera, you national camera. You just make him like a dumbass. The song about yeah, I know the campaigns. Yeah, yo's running. Like that's that's some, that's your last resort. You running this campaign for your last resort, and you already have prior situations to it. But he don't know how, how influenced he is." To the, the city of a Fort Worth, that's gang land. That's gang, that's a gang community. Everybody is is raised. People, daddies and grandmas have died off some gang shit. You need to bring your community back together and take over the world. I think so too. You need to get on the phone with CJ and say, bro, we just making these videos on the internet, making ourselves look crazy, making it hot out here. We need to get back together. I remember when them four or five niggas was, was walking through the miles and and nigga, they go CJ, they go Yayo, they go PB. Nigga, Yayo has Yayo, Yayo got enough power to birth any rapper he want in Fort Worth. 
You out here in, 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 in Eastwood. Eastwood, I was just hoping. I said, I hope these niggas is playing that. I thought I was going to get another clip where they out deep doing the video in the middle of Eastwood. They wasn't. Like, like that's what y'all need to do. I, that's what I'm saying. I understand the bigger picture because I had an artist that died. So you got to correct it before it happens. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, um, I think they, I believe they, I believe they need to be back friends. I think so, too. I think so, too. I don't think fighting is going to help anything. You fight Sauce Walker and win or lose, what is it going to do? I don't think it's going to help streams. I don't think it's going to help him musically. And then let me ask you this. I'm glad we're here. Why you wasn't on Mama Duck's side? About what? By suing them. Oh, I posted you. I did post. Yo, Chicago mad at you right now. Cause you, you can get me killed. Nigga, you posted that on your shit. I didn't want to get say chill. <laughs> <laughs> you should have posted Big E from Wes Anderson. Ty Harris or something. Since when you don't want to be on say cheese? But I didn't want that. <laughs> I, but I, I don't care about it because I understand what I can do with that type of praise, pr uh, but, uh, publicity. But at the end of the day, you should be on Mama Duck's side. Mm. I thought we was out. Uh, Sean, we, I thought me, you, and Charles, and at one time, we was, we, we was riding with the 63rd. I'm I'm by I'm not I'm I'm neutral, man. Nah, hell no. You are a sixty third nigga. You the one created FBG man. Uh 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 all the sixty thirtieths. Uh but Mama Lil Duck, Jay, Lil J, all, the... all them. That's you. You a sixty third. I, I don't think I don't think the BDs fuck with me. I don't think the Chief Keys and the G Herbo. They don't. Are, they don't fuck with me. They don't, but you so. have. So at the end of the day, at the day, Mama Duck, the Mama Duck, I understand people be like, people be like, FBG Duck was doing the same shit. And he was. Huh? He was dissing his music too. I understand it, but we talking about mamas. See, the mamas and shit is not involved in the situation. So yeah, she should get some money. You understand what I'm saying? It's just, it's chess, not checkers. It's mm. the art of war. So at the end of the day, I believe I, if she go win. Did they? Did they? You get any DMs about that? Yo, everybody from Chicago. They tell me don't come back to Chicago. Um, <laughs> all kind of shit. Uh -huh. I'm scared, and I'm scared of O'Block, and I, and I fuck with uh, Ike. I forgot the name of uh, Mona Ike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From he, Mona he, Ike. he commented too. Yeah, he did. And I, yeah. and I DM said, said, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I flew out there and gave him a thousand dollars for a verse. And I never put. It. I like, I like the little nigga. Yeah, I he like, cool. He talented. I, I, I like both sides. I really, I, I really, I play with both sides. Like, I like both sides. Like, yeah. cause O'Block be playing Mo three. You know what I'm saying? I know that. Um, I really still had a problem with Dirk because Dirk didn't ever give Mo three kids no money for doing that outside. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I hated that. And I know Wait, real. say that again? I, uh, you know, uh, Dirk had redid outside. Yeah. And he didn't give Mo3 three, mama, like, mo three kids or, or none of that. He redid it? Yeah, he did. He put it out. Dirk did a remix to outside? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, you remember that was on the ground praying? Uh, in O'Block? Uh, it went real huge. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, you know, um, I know. I don't think Dirk even know that was Mo3 song. He probably don't. I might be just, he might don't. Nah, people know Mo3 records. Yeah, but still, then Dirk, then Dirk, you are wrong for that shit. Yeah. You are, we, we need a verse. We need a verse and, and help his kids. It's all about his kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the people's kids. So, no, at the end of the day, I believe Duck kids, they shouldn't, they shouldn't have to live. And I know his mama not getting the money that she getting because she don't own the music. So that's one thing about rappers. Rappers, or if you go make drill type of music and gangster type of music, um, uh, and beef with other people, don't be signed to no label because one day you might die and your parents, your people, and your family and kids will not get their money. You understand what I'm saying? If you independent, yo, crash out. At least your kids can be rich. But if you sign to other people, no. It ain't no, that, that's the dumbest shit ever. Hmm. That now, because now your kids got to grow up broke and then your kids got to take on the same baggage that you left behind because you was out doing shit that, that you regret now. Yeah. Yeah, real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're just straight up. So, like people like Rich Homie Quan, um, um, that he dropped the independent album for his kids, and uh, that was good. That but, shit did pretty good. Yeah, big, big X shit going crazy. Uh, that shit top three. I like X. Um, that's a machine. That is a machine. Nothing wrong with it. The machine is What's rolling. What's wrong with the machine? But when that machine stops, then you'll be sitting here saying people, people. Don't support you. Yeah, I think Big X. Um, I think that's why Zillionaire Buzz. It, it Zillionaire Buzz feel a little different because he got the streets. I don't feel like Big X. Like we don't know. I don't know. Like yeah, I don't think we know his life. 
it, like superstars, and we was talking about this the other day. That's why Kodak and, and Young Boy superstars, because we know their mama name. We know their mama. Name. We know their hood. We grew up with Miss Gladys. They, we know street. I, yeah, I ain't never met Miss Gladys. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We know street names. Yeah. We know homeboy names, yeah. and yeah. I feel like that's the difference between we don't, yeah, you know, Big X. Like we don't really know. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And and, and it's just the branding. Like you no, just got to tighten but, up but with the branding. But at the time, at the and see for artists that's on right now, we think we're talking about these. It's, it's, we're not talking about. Yeah. Them. But he skipped that. And that's good. I seen people at the top like Fetty Wops and and you know different people that had number one hits in the world and been number the top K five albums, K and Camps shit, and all yeah. that. But then they fall back down because they don't have no foundation. Mm-hmm. And X do be in the streets. But I don't think Big X skipped a lot of steps though. He still be in, he be in the clubs a lot. Mm-hmm. His work ethic, I'm hearing his, his work ethic is still. What street he from? You asking me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. He ain't told more. He ain't told his story. story. He haven't told his yeah, story. Yeah, you got to you got to tell your story. On them type of beats, you got them old school sound of beats. We 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 we, we want to hear about your granddad. Mm-hmm. Big big ex. I met his daddy. Big six 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 seven ass. Big old country nigga. We got to We want to hear them stories. That's the only problem. I believe four bats skipped a lot of shit. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And it's I, hard to go from Drake. Once yeah. you go to Drake and Kanye, what else you going to do? Man, I've been so mad if one of my new artists got a, a feature from Drake. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do it for the money, but... that's made me, that's That made me fuck with Kodak more when when Drake wanted to get on uh, Skirt Skirt. Yeah. And Kodak was like, nah, I'm cool. I don't need you. I'm going to make it on my own. It made me fuck with him more. Yeah, I like You see what I'm saying? So, I like when niggas go against the grain. No, I do too. I do too, but I, I believe them. I don't like the easy way out. I believe looking at Kodak lately, Kodak lately, Kodak, um... Not the same Kodak. Nah, he, look, he drugged out. He, he like, drugged out. He I don't care. What no, and when I say it, people get mad. When I say it on Twitter, his fans get mad. He not the same Kodak. Man, not. He not. He not. He on tour with Sexy Red now. Like. Like, like. So did Kodak fall off? Kodak fell off. Kodak and they, Kodak's one of my favorite artists. Yeah, it was too. Kodak fell off. Yeah. Like yeah, I Kodak that. needs help. Um, I believe it's too many yes men in this corner. If if I was Kodak's manager, I would I would get him some help. And then I'll have him drop an institution too. No features. 20, 20 songs. Yeah. But see, it's the thing, and I can't I can't wrap my fingers around it. People are actually playing Russian roulette. Out these fucking perks. Yeah. Perks and say is worse than cocaine, hair run, and any drug. It's the deadliest drug. And people are still taking it. Yep. Rich Homie Corns, I he said in one song I just heard, his only fear is the overdose. Yep. Depression. And he did. Depression. Rap wasn't he said he was getting 50, 50 to 80 a show. No, th- you're right about that. To, to all, a, a 50 to 80 a show to 10,000. All rappers that that when they fall off, they take perks. Depression. All of them. All of them, bro. You going from 50 to 80 to show to a 10 ball, sometimes 15, sometimes five. You got to take the five because it's a slow week. Mm. And then them fives, and then sometimes you doing features for 2,500 because you ain't getting no features no more. That Young Thug shit fucked them up. The fans chose their side. The Young Thug and uh-huh. When Young Thug and Rich Homie Quan fell out, they went They went to Thug side. See, See, people in America used to always say this, and they didn't. They sounded so crazy. We all need to come. To, people need to come together like Atlanta. Atlanta was never Atlanta together. Atlanta was never never together. Yes, never together. They just had the best structure of DJs and yeah, clubs. Yeah, and they had the they had the mixtape DJs, the live mixtapes. You had to go out there to get a live mixtape placement. Yeah, like it was different back then. But the the rappers together was never really together like they that. They were never together. They was, it was clicks. They were slanging more on than. A lot of a lot of cities. So we go back to what I said two or three years ago. People didn't understand that once it's beef in your city, your city is hot and your rap culture is hot. But when people get the dime, after people get the dime, they go right back down. Yep. You know, Baton Rouge not the same. I ain't seen a new artist come out of Baton Rouge in a long Remember time. Remember, they had Sherwood, Marty. Yeah. They had. Yeah. Uh, they could do a tour around the world Fredo. with just them. Yep. Like around there, and and Fredo's my guy. Yep. But the world, like he just put out a good country song that's good. Fredo is the lover man, this and that. And it's so fucked up because the world don't give a damn about none of that. They just want to see him and Young Boy go. They just want to see, yep. And then Young Boy going to jail hurt the motion for them to Young Boy hurt, do their yeah, WWE shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so. But that's what I was trying to tell Yayo. Keep it WWE. 
You no, he take it too far. But that's what I'm saying. You coming at me saying I got to pay for funerals and shit. You have to. because that's... When I'm telling niggas, keep that shit WWE. No, it's not. Mo, no... Mo, bro, if Mo3 was still alive, Yellow Beezy would still be going crazy. No, so that's so so. listen, that's what I'm coming to say. Why, since he died, people was only listening to them boys to see what they had to say about Mo3 and what they had to say about Bell. Why, since he died... Anybody that Mo3 was beefing with, anybody in that era, music ain't the same. I think Yellow Beezy would still be doing this thing if he didn't take that time off that he took. That shit trash. Trash or not? His music is trash. He's using me now to get the views. When you put up there... He's that... not using you, bro. No, he no. ain't mentioning your name in the record or nothing. What no, you talking about? Yes, he did. I got two this songs on the album coming out. Yes, he did. How you know? I, I already heard it. Man. You know, I got my intro. I'm going to sue his ass again. I'm gonna keep suing this. I'm gonna keep. How you know, bro? How, who, how you know? I'm gonna sue every diamond. Did he say your name? Yeah, the manager. I'm gonna sue every diamond in his mouth. To that he didn't say your name. That you bitch can't sue, bro. Manager. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> you can't. He can't. You can't say. You, I, I, you can't sue him. Listen, listen. You don't went on four different. When I, Yellow Beezy went wrong at when Mo three died, and I'm not saying I'm glad he didn't diss Mo three. Yeah. But he just didn't say nothing. Like Young and Ace, when Fulio died, he at least did interviews and he said I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got any, he didn't say, Yella didn't say nothing. Sure, but listen, I, I learned, I got a lot of power as a person in the background to make a nigga sit down two days in a row and talk an hour long talk about me. You talking about our, our interview? Yes. You watched it? Did the whole goddamn thing. You was mad at first. I was angry. Nigga, I told you, I said, hey, bro, I'm doing an interview with Yella Beasy next, next week. You was excited at first. Yeah, no, no, I, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I like when he talk. You was excited about I, the interview, no, bro. No, I was, but then I, I, I be mad when I watch because I can't respond. I'm responding in my own goddamn TV in my damn movie room sitting there saying, man, that's some bullshit. Then I get to Kyle and you walk around the goddamn house and I might, I might Kyle and cuss you out and hang up the phone and sit there and Kyle Ty and say, Sean, I'm some bullshit. But I be mad because I can't respond. I want everybody to sit right here. Well, I hope that one day this is gonna be a, this is gonna be the blessing in my so life. So you like doing three, four? In you did five interviews about the shit. Huh? You did five interviews about Yellow Beezy, no, bro. I did two. You did three with me. Huh? You did three with me. Yeah. Two at the barbershop, and you did one at the uh at your spot. I think. I was selling records. And then get mad, you bro. You, I'm done selling that's records. see, that's what Yayo talking about. Y'all niggas love creating the narrative, bro. I love creating the narrative. Sean, I like creating the narrative because at the end of the day, that, that's just like, listen, I never talked about him personally. I just said his music was trash. Yellow Beezy? Yes. He got some shit I like. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about his new music. Mm. It's trash. I never said- You heard his new album already. I already heard it. How? I, huh? How? Because one thing about it is- How do you get in these rooms without being in these rooms? I'm a beast. Now, I'm in a room right now in New Orleans right now. That, that, that I'm knowing everything's going on. I am a beast. So at the end of the day, um- um, you know, matter of fact, different people, different people are not your partners. Everybody ain't your friend. And I learned, I don't want to be number one in, in my circle. I don't want to be number one in the people around because once you tell them no, they're going to go tell the opposite people everything you got going on to your business, you let your business out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, like a, a, a great, a great person said back in the day, everybody ain't your friend, everybody ain't your partner. And that's, and that's really true. So you got to watch the people that you around once you on top. If you tell me no or tell somebody else no that you're cool with, then they're going to go back and tell everybody in your business. You understand know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, uh, different people tell me everything they got going on. But rap-wise, I'm here to to talk about his raps. I don't like his raps and this and that. But personally, he's a good guy. I he, fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm saying personally a good guy. He just really just helped my trip to go to college. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no problem with him. I don't have no problem with him no more. You know what I'm saying? I won the war between the whole this situation. Mo three so I won. The, you know, I took the prize of the round. Nobody won. The, uh huh? Nobody won. Oh, uh, they kid. The kids won. The kids Mo, won. Mo three kids is multi-millionaire. It's more than money. I'm, I'm talking about he's not here physically. No, I understand that. But nobody. I understand won. that. But at that time, Mo three didn't die. Mo three didn't die over no rap shit. Mo three didn't die over no rap shit. Mo three died over jealous baby daddy. I keep explaining that. So at the end of the day. At the end of the day, when it come down to rap wise, and it rap just I don't know, bro, Run, chasing somebody down midday, broad daylight. So you basically in, on the highway so, over a female. So you saying that right now? The yellow man's gonna do it? No, I'm not saying that at all. So they, they, it was over a jealous baby daddy. I'm telling you, bro, bro, bro. Listen, listen. 
I'm not saying yellow. I'm saying broad just, daylight just, over a girl. I just lost one of my bitches to a broke ass nigga. One of my baby mama to a broke ass nigga. Just completely destroy me because now it can't help me get farther because she have so much in my life where it helps me make money and grow and do businesses and get shit in people's name. With that taking that piece away from me, taking that piece away from me, destroyed everything. We stopped my money. I was damn near go crash out. Why she leave for a broke nigga? Because. Once you get, once you have money, you don't have, you don't think like the average person. You think about keep you, you your mentality every day. Keep getting more money. It get more money because you don't want to go backwards. Yeah. So you don't, I don't have time to go to the take, give you flowers, say hey, how you doing? Uh, go go some money, go shopping, make you feel like a princess because I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about building business, not buying flowers. So yeah. a broke nigga have time to wind or dine and lay up every day. Flowers and, die. Yeah, and flowers die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a broke nigga have time to, to lay up and do this and do that, do this and do that, because they have time on mm -hmm. their hands. Yep. My job every day, I can't sleep at night. Women, like, but women like broke women like broke dudes because women like controlling. That's just. Women like control. Women love controlling. She said, she I, she said, I said, she said, you forgot about the important things and I can build him. Bitch, I'm trying to build a goddamn. I'm trying to build a goddamn four billion dollar house right now, mm. and build and build, and so our kids, our kids don't have to go. So which the, this was the triplets, mom? Yeah, no, nah, uh, the other one. Mm. I lo I lost twenty to thirty thousand dollars every month without her. You want child support? No, no, no. I'm saying she do everything. Oh. I call her right now. Hey, I need you to go do this. Call this person, do this. Call this person, do that. Call this person, do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all at once, I'm starting to realize, damn. And and and, and I cheat. She years. That's why she left you. I mean, just I wasn't showing no attention. I had and then showing no attention. You should get her back. N man, listen. Don't be like half pint. Nah, hell no, nah, I can't be like half pint. But once a broke nigga destroy the mind frame of a woman and the respect of a woman, respect me for going out, making all this money, making this and this and that, that's not <clears> mine <throat> no more. You understand what I'm saying? Like straight up, you have mentally you damaged this woman's head that she don't care about money. She don't care about the future. You understand what I'm saying? So if you can go back, you would be a more romantic with her. It's hard. How is it hard to be romantic? Because I got a mama. I one got day, a, one day out the uh, week. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. The, yeah. Most women, one day out the week, you just got to do something spontaneous. But but yeah, I know you're right though. But see, the thing is, is I'd rather buy you a business so so I so if something happened to me, my kids will will be good in life. Yeah. I got a mama that I think the same way. You know what I'm saying? I have a mama that I gotta take care of. I have no time to sit there and think about I, you know how I many people uh, you know how I many people houses I gotta feed. It's like with women, it's like uh, you, like you always gotta ask like, do you want my time or money? Yeah. You can't have both. Yeah, you know how many Because I need time to make money. You know how many rich niggas in the world's getting they hit they bitch hit by a romantic broke nigga? Straight up. I I used to do it. You know how many houses I fucked up fucking with fucking this fucking the shit out this rich nigga bitch? Because he have no time to be there. He trying to make generation wealth. Nigga, George, George Mathis just lost his wife. Mm. Got a divorce off his wife because he's flying everywhere making shitload of money. Them girls is not, man, fuck them girls. Them yeah. girls them... I think women want a guy with money till they get a guy with money. And yeah. then they see that damn money is not really what I want. But what do you want? Women want control. I just told you that. Man, they need to go get a puppy. <laughs> that's why I see them. I, I, that's why. That's women why, want control, bro. That's why I see them fine ass women walking around with these nice little dogs and shit. And they happy staying in the condos. The dog costs ten thousand dollars. You staying in the condos because you you need a puppy. Women want control. That's fucked up. Like, even when you get into it with a girl, sometimes you kind of got to make her feel like she's right. Even when she's wrong, it's like women want to feel like, women like to lead. And really, men are let, meant to lead, but women be wanting to lead. You know what? Like, and, it, and it makes sense. You know why women can't stay with rich dudes? Because they didn't come up with them. Mm. Only the women, only the football stars that come up with the, the Kobe Bryant's, the, 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 the LeBron James. They they married their high school sweethearts because they were sleeping in them cars with them. They had they the same the dream with them. I I see girls all the time say, "Girl, I'm over there fucking with this nigga." 
you met in the club. That's not going to last. Women does not go. If you, There's no connection. Yeah, women, if you, if, if, if you meet a football player in the club right now or on Instagram or anywhere, he don't like you. He just wants some ass. That's it. He just wants some good quality ass. Hmm. And send you back to, he don't want the problems you got or nothing. And I just realized it. And I also realized this, though. I don't care about my baby mamas having kids. I mean, I mean, any of my girls having boyfriends, my baby mamas have boyfriends because now y'all have the responsibility to pay for these shit. You know what I'm saying? How many baby moms you got? Three. That ain't bad. Yeah. So, so I understand. It's okay. I got, a, I got five kids. Y'all are all welcome to come help pay bills. I ain't gonna lie. One time we was on the phone and one of the kids was, uh, got in trouble. It was like hella kids in there. He was like, which one? Yeah. It was that was funny as hell. Somebody got in trouble. He was like, which one was it? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, I, uh, when Yayo sit here and say this and that, and I understand, and and, and 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 this and this goes out to any black woman in the world or any women women in the world. Um, uh, and it ain't got nothing to do with my situation because I had artists that get pregnant, the dumbest shit. It's okay to get the abortion. Mm. If if you know you and this man not go get married, and you know it's not no future in this situation, don't put them kids through that. You know how I many women meet a nigga and have a two a, a one night stand or or y'all just fucking around and you go have this baby and this kid is confused. Now you still looking for love after you had this baby, so now you gonna get married to a whole nother dude and start a family with him. But that kid will always feel like an outsider because he didn't want to be here. It's y'all dumbass who was just fucking. Mm. If you meet a woman in the club or Insta or Instagram, you don't know them. After all the party and all the drugs and all the sex stop, you just be sitting there and, and babies come. You just sit there and say, "So what do we have in common?" All oh, for a five second nut. That nut ruined some people's lives. Ruined the motherfucking life. Like straight up, like. Like straight up, so you know that's a lesson learned to um uh different people. I know the person. Nigga, you gonna be like, bro, this is embarrassing. That kid, no. that kid gonna start saying, "Fuck my dad." <clears throat> you have no more. You you have. I heard Charleston say this in the interview where if you can't be the father and have the respect that you have, it's best for you to move away because whatever that the parents saying into them kids. It go, it's, it's go, especially the mom. Yeah, but especially I don't have that problem. Like, yeah. I, I still got respect, respect, because I cut everybody water off. Mm. But at the end of the day, it, the kids don't have no respect for the child. Yeah. Now yeah. I do want to say this though, while we're here, uh, back to the Texas rapper shit. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I love Sauce. Me and Sauce came up together. Um, C Joe, me and CJ, we don't see a lot of eye to eye because he, he feel how he feel. CJ, I fuck with you. Yeah, I fuck with Did you. Did you pick sides with CJ and, and Yayo? Did I pick sides? Mm -hmm. Nah. CJ's been on Say Cheese plenty of times. He, I, in my interview, I, I I misinterpreted what I was saying. He runs around telling people I don't post him, but I do post CJ. You ain't post CJ in about two, three years. I post CJ two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, yeah. Did he pay post, for that? Huh? You pay for that? I think whatever label he, uh, yeah, he yeah, he's yeah. been on Say Cheese yeah. though. I don't know yeah. what I, because I have multiple people run the page. I've seen CJ on there. I, I don't have no problems with CJ. Um, Yayo, Yayo is like little bro. Um, but I, I'm not picking a side. I, I'm promoting all of them. So, hey, so, so, so this whole time, so you never picked a side no rap beef? No. No. You can even say that about Mo3 and Yellow. What about the Florida boys? Which Florida boys? Julio and, uh... Nah, I interviewed Young and Ace. I've interviewed J. Dot Breezy. I've interviewed, um... Okay. So I've interviewed I've interviewed Fulio, I've interviewed Young and Ace, I've interviewed Jay Dot. So Breezy. you feel like in, in natural mind, in your heart, you have never started a beat that got anybody killed. No. I feel like people come here to get to to let things off their chest. And everybody wants the last word, so it continues on. Fuck that, yellow beezy said that. Nah, I gotta go respond. Like right now. Yeah, yo said that, fuck that. Now CJ and them reaching out. So now it looks like from the outside in, it looks like Sean Cotton keeps shit going, but no, everybody wants to come on this big ass platform and say their piece. Do it help? So after, so do it help your numbers? I don't, I don't care about the numbers. So put it like this: I don't. You got you, Adam, and academics. All right, Vlad. Vlad, Vlad put people in jail. That's one thing about it. Vlad put you in jail. Mm -hmm. Academics ruin people's livelihood. He tell everybody business might ruin your life. He might tell you you were cheating or you were doing cocaine or if you was broke or you was gay, mm -hmm. right? You got Adam. Adam is a mixture of Vlad 
and and um and academics. Then you got you. You got Sean Cotton on the, his own lane, the youth. That's what everybody likes. This that's the most powerful channel because you go have because people grow with you. People come on here and talk about each other, talk about beef, and get to each other killed. It's way more going on on this channel. No, it's not. Yes, it is. The last four interviews, it's all can get somebody killed. Rallo? What? That interview ain't. Man, that 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 situation. That's one of the bro. I've been out and about since then. People love. Rallo. They love drama. I can't have two of the the most gangster niggas bro, to ever walk the earth. Rallo and Boosie seen each other already. They, yo, I understand. And, I, and they're at a funeral, and, and 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 they said some shit that I couldn't understand. They say, I mean, I understood. He said, I gave. His mama, my worry that I wouldn't say nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I understand that. But that situation, we got a dead in that situation. Like straight up. It could be, it could go crazy. Like even when you had the yellow, that man sit there and sit there and said, Boosie, no. Boosie, no. And that's my fault. <laughs> I don't know what Boosie knows. You gave that me. Yeah, I ain't know what I didn't give him shit. You gave him a platform. I didn't give him shit. And nigga. let me say like this. <laughs> he reached out for an interview. I know. I, I know it. I know it. So let me tell you like this. I, I learned when the rapper that was on top, when a, uh, what's the word? When a, uh, a rapper that had the mentality was on top that to feel like he didn't need nobody, his last resort to reach out for interviews. Bless you. That's straight up. That's his. That's his last resort to reach out to interviews. Like Boosie never came for Motree's funeral. Boosie had a show. Boosie never came after Motree died. Boosie didn't come for that. Boosie wasn't at Big T when he got shot to look for trouble. He came. To, he went to Big T go get his jewelry. Mm. Like like when he said he, he Boosie came all the way down here and on Twitter Boosie didn't come. That, that was that was a fake page. So you so so I wish I could stop that to stop the narrative, but now the Louisiana people in the comments saying this and that. Nah, Boosie didn't come down here for a Mo three after he died. I wouldn't expect Boosie to come down after Mo three died to come to speak and all this other shit. No, he had a show the next day. And I I said since Boosie down here, y'all come down here. Can he come down here to the balloon release? Then he had a show that we actually went to the show. Me and, me and our most people went to the show. Then he, that morning he woke up with the big T. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, some people, a starving artist will create situations to get his name and the algorithm to get back on top. I don't think Yellow Beezy was doing that. I think Yellow Beezy was coming here. Mm -hmm. He's dropping the new tape. He wants to finally clear the air. All the narr all the narratives that were created about Mo Three, he wanted to finally come sit down and let it all off the table. Well, well I mean, that's the narrative saying he had no problem. I mean, as a man, you had problems. You was going, you, back bro. And you've done five interviews. I'm not. Oh, okay. You've done hella interviews about the situation. Yellow Beezy. One thing I can't say about Yellow, he kept the whole thing gangster. He never went to the internet on nothing. No, no, no. The gangster is not blaming everybody else for your your nigga. I had a problem with that nigga. I had a problem with that nigga. So what? Don't go here like we rather than have a problem. To, Rainwater, no, nigga. I wanted y'all to be together. I wanted, bro, bro. I wanted to buy some of your hooks and put more three to rap on your hooks, nigga. Nigga, to this day, I got one song that I got one song that all that shit never happened. I still would buy the hook. I, nigga, I need you. I need you to get on song some of my artists. So, so you take to take, take your crap. I mean, take to get some of your crap. So at the end of the day, I have no problem with nobody. You just put my kids, two of my kids, through college. When I get it, I got no problem with the man. At the end, of, I got no problem with this man. At the end of the day, I go home for my five kids, and if most three kids need something, or worldly kids something need something, I got no serious problem with you, man. We sit in the courtroom together, nigga. Niggas would have a problem with each other. Can't even be around each other. Now I'm gonna talk about your music. I'm gonna talk like we talked about Big X music. We sit there and said this and that. That's not us talking down on them. That just that just that's just criticism. Giving, that just giving two gatekeepers a conversation about situations. Yeah. That can improve somebody, but see, some arrogant rappers be too, too. They be too full of themselves. You can't give them conversation about improving it. That's like me telling you about 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 the death of the cause of her. You ain't saying I'm talking down on you. You yeah. a sensitive ass nigga. I can tell who was raised with a daddy, who wasn't raised with no daddy, because mm -hmm. they too sensitive. Yeah, a nigga look at the comments and get too sensitive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most good rappers are sensitive. I, I everything you're saying, I, I respect it. It's good. It, it's good advice. But I'm not like when Yayo went ran out on the street yesterday in Eastwood. I didn't tell him to do that. I told him to do the opposite. Niggas are gonna wanna do what they wanna do. These are grown men. 
Niggas are gonna say what they wanna say, bro. I didn't come here, me, I didn't have the intention of coming here in the interview being a, a TSF uh uh whatever. You was damn near a TSF member at one time. I still fuck with TSF. Man, so we should say, oh, we ain't been talking about that. What you mean? You, when he thought when he got the bounce like this, and you should say, oh, we ain't gonna talk about that. We're gonna just talk about how we can improve your livelihood and get you back on top. I was against everything about the fighting shit. I told him. You that. released it. What and you mean? You and you you you, you, you should have said stop. We ain't gonna talk about this. He wanted it to come out. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I know. He it. wanted it to come out. I, I, bro, I can't. It's hard. I. It's no way. It's so hard to to be a, a, a blog to to be a media personality to be a platform. So basically, it's because your, everybody wants to put in what they got to say. So basically, it's your job. In your platform, it's your job to have a channel in a lane where people can go express themselves. That's that's it. That's all it is. Say that's too. it. I've been inside the whole time. I've just been arguing with people in the barbershop. So now I, we have this conversation with people I always want to have it. to have with you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like Mo3. Yeah. It was a time where Mo3 wanted to do the boxing, celebrity boxing match with Yella. Remember we went out to eat? Yeah. Then we did the interview. Yeah. It was the same thing. But now it's like, okay, bet. That's why I asked Yella, when does this end? Because everybody wants to respond to every other no, interview. It, it, it's ended. Most of been gone four years. But I'm saying, Yella did an interview. Then me and you got on the phone. He's like, fuck that, man. I, 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 I. Nah, nah, nah. It was, it was cool because he did an interview. Most three been gone four years. He, 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 he shouldn't even But want... you was mad, though. He, I, 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 I everybody was, wants to control I the narrative, bro. I was mad because of speech. But yeah, I mean, he most three been gone four years, man. We And me? The manager now, they blame the manager, so I understand how powerful I am. See what I'm saying? And that's why I like fucking with personalities now, because the rapper shit is just like, it's just ongoing. It's like- They're never going to stop. It's never going to stop till somebody dies. That's the worst thing in a rapper's life, and when he wake up to know he fell off. Oh, that's a dangerous rapper. I'm scared of him. Because you can put that in your mind, you didn't fall off. Like that boy you had from Louisiana, I want. I, I bet he going crazy right now. Uh, Georgia, Darrow. Darrow. That nigga first tape dropped. It was in the top, top one hundred, top top one hundred charts. Going crazy. I invested like seventy thousand in him. I let him go. He went to go sign with Rod Wave. Nothing happened. He won't tell that story though. Darrow won't tell the world that he signed with Rod Wave. Rod Wave gave him twenty five. At, at, it was a point to where Rod Wave was kind of like. Because me and Rod Wave was having our little back and forth. Rod Wave was like plant, putting him as like, using him as a pawn. So Rod Wave gave him 25000 signed Darrow, and then we never heard from him again. But he won't tell that. I'm the, I'm the blame, though, but he won't blame uh, the big rapper. So I'm saying? He signed to so Rod you, Wave. Are you still commun communicating with Spot him, got him? Yeah, he's in jail. He gets out in three years. Are you going to go back and, and talk to him? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's a waste of time. I mean, we did. We had we had a great moment, bro. It's time to move on. Find every day draft day. Every day is, is new talent out there. So spot, yeah. So spot. He and he he about, he triple platinum now. That song made. I'm hearing that song made like thirty million. What you think about the CMG situation? What CMG situation? What about the. It's so many th situations. I'm talking about the the dolphin, the the. the the it's fucked up what money can do, man. Like, niggas do anything for nothing. Niggas will do a lot for so so little. Like, even if it was 100 grand, like... I'm scared. But, I'm scared. Of, so, Dolph lost his life to a crash dummy that they get A paid. junkie that got $800. But Dolph should know better to be in Memphis such a small... Have you ever been to Memphis? Yeah, I know. Memphis is small. That shit like Arlington. Not nah, smaller than that. Yeah. Like, size-wise. Yeah. And you and that bitch in the camouflage Corvette. I, be I believe that Juke, the best thing happened to him is getting killed. Because he would have been indicted and got life. He would have, yep. Yeah. He would have again died and got life. And no disrespect to nobody over there in the area. But going from being a millionaire to, la to lavish to sitting in a jail cell, that's mm. the worst thing. And I feel for P. Diddy. I don't believe P. Diddy did that shit. If you get so much power from me, the number one blogger, they're going to come up with stories about you. You ain't, you got you to stand for something, Sean, or die for nothing. You know P. Diddy didn't rape nobody. He do the same thing everybody did with blue hoes out here. Everybody ain't lying, though. What, what they say? 
He didn't rape nobody. I don't think I don't think flying I don't think flying people out and giving them money should be a crime. Yeah, but I don't think that but should what be a crime. is he charged with? But we've been hearing the same shit for years. What now. that he's freaky? Well, that's all we've been hearing that he he's freaky. He fuck boys and girls, and he just do. We ain't got nothing to do with that situation. He just he do whatever he got going on in the situation. But what crime have he done? His kids coming out. A nine year old, a sixteen year old was man. Molested. Shut the hell up! I'm, t- I'm telling you. So you saying you saying P Diddy, this nigga with ninety billion dollars, sit there and put his dick in a nine year old? Molested, yeah. That's what they say. No, that's the story to turn down a black man, Sean. Like straight up, you know what? Talking about a thousand fucking baby oil. What was he doing with it? Getting wet. You can't, but kind of, you gotta understand. It's like R. Kelly. R. Kelly. What did he do? He's not in jail. He's not in jail for having sex with minors. He's not. He's in jail for sex trafficking. Mm. Having girls fly out here and live with them. He's not in jail for having sex with minors. Let's get that correct. That don't, that's not on none of his none of his charges. Mm. Now you gotta sell your royalties in your in your back catalogs. They go, they they take everything from you. Now you gotta sell those. I believe R. Kelly and P. Diddy. You don't think he? You don't think he touched minors or none of that? No, I believe P. Diddy. No, we never heard as the initial charge. Like like I even called the hotline. I don't know. Orlando Brown said he gave him the ooh squash goose squash. That that, that wasn't a crime. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. That wasn't a crime though. Like, like one thing, and what people know me, one thing I do hate, I mean, I don't uh, condone to is, is, is gay shit, and I hate studs, right? But that's not a crime. So Orlando say he fucked P. Diddy? Allegedly? I don't know what to believe with Orlando Brown. You don't know what, <laughs> you don't know what. I don't even know. Yo, when I interviewed him, it was like, if somebody said it in the comments too, it was like I was talking to 20 different people. Yeah, that was crazy. Real shit. That was crazy. Real shit. That was crazy. No, the one of your best interviews in the, lately is the Ryan Garcia. He didn't go at nobody. He told his story. He did this. He did that. And I and I and I understand it. But then, as soon as that Rilo came, I said, Sean, back at it. Which Rilo? The 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 one in the car. The, that the one first, was a really good interview. I know it was a really good interview, but the boosted, but but like when he sat down, that that was perfect. You need to do more. When he sat down in the neighborhood and people could understand, we could, we should be understand. T- telling the how, second interview was good. I mean, he yeah. was talking about. I understand the Boosie situation, but, but that, that, he just no, no, no. He just said that I want to sit down with Boosie and show him my paperwork. Why yeah. can't I do it? Yeah, I understand that, but I understand it. The I, same thing, yeah, you're saying y'all. This shit, this narrative that was created online is fucking up my pockets. What? What? I got kids. What narrative? With, with who? With yeah. Dale. That he fell off and all this shit. And, he did. And this, this, and all that. He went to jail and fell off. It was your damn fault. To keep getting caught with them guns. His fault. Yeah, his fault. Okay. You need a manager. Do you know these rappers don't have managers? They don't. He said him brags, I have no label, no manager. That's your fault. You should be smart to go get a manager. He needs a manager. Bad. I, bro, if I had a yayo, yayo would be on top right now. Because he don't give a damn. I like to see him on the road, though. Y'all can talk shit about Soldier Boy all you want to. I like to see Yayo on the road. No, no, no. Soldier Boy is not a good fit for him. It's not a good fit. Now, if Yayo... It's not a good fit. If Yayo was with a nigga like Kevin Gates, a young thug... I, yeah, but I'd rather be around somebody who fuck some, with me than not. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, that's somebody a, that's, than not. That's his last resort. That's his last resort. Uh, it's okay with it. That's thug okay. got to come out and fuck with Yayo, though. I don't think Thug... I, don't, I think Thug's going to get some years. Mm. That's a powerful case. That shit all over the place. That's though. a that, but still though, it's a powerful case. You gotta send this. Somebody died. They can't let that go. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a that's a powerful case. But yes, I hate the I hate the sauce walker yayo beef. I couldn't sleep that night. The night I released it. Yeah, cause you knew you was wrong. I I wasn't wrong. You at lost all. sleep, Sean. I wasn't you wrong at sleep. all. You lost sleep. You lost sleep. I I wasn't wrong at all. I just felt like when I released it, I just felt like. It didn't help. It didn't help. I don't feel like I was wrong. I'm not encouraging none of that. I was even telling them in the interview um, that that it don't have to be that. 
You know what I'm saying? And he got he was getting mad at me. The first 30 minutes, man, him going back and forth. Yeah, no, no, no. Really, and, and I understand that. Like, I understand that you don't pick sides. That's one thing I can I can prove. But just to giving me. people a voice to voice what they want to say that creates shit, shit. That shit fucked up, because you can get somebody killed. You can have somebody thinking a whole narrative. You got people from from you interviewing Charles and he keeps saying it over and over again. I'm like, bro, he is telling a lot. Ray had a fake surgery. Hmm. People come telling me the Charles. No, no, it came from your platform. Charles said he took the gun. Trap, out. trap, trap, trap boy was me. Trap boy was kind of upset with me. Why? About the Charleston shit. He was upset with me about that. But, and I get it. What you're saying is okay. Trap was mad at me about the Charleston shit when I let Charleston do the interview and say what he said. You're right. No, 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 no. Letting it's, people letting people get on the platform could be dangerous by letting people say certain things. Yes. You know what I mean? But like, people gotta understand. <clears throat> These people are men, and I can't control what they say. No, it's your job. That's how you get paid. But you know how many lives you have destroyed by- I let, didn't destroy nobody's by let, life. By letting Charleston get up here and, and destroy these people's lives. Who? Everybody. <laughs> nigga, who? That, nigga, that nigga sit there and said, fuck Fulio mama. Fuck the duck mama. Fuck these people mamas. Man, them people, they kids scream to die. He's screaming. He's Bro, just... nobody's life's getting destroyed yes. by saying fuck them. Yes, you have. You don't know how I feel to walk the streets and hear what Charleston, Charleston said. Charleston said fuck me too. No, no, he did. Charleston said fuck her. That's, and you, that, she was about to cry, calling me one That didn't destroy her life. She's smiling. It, 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 no, for, it, it, took, it took healing. That didn't do... <laughs> it took healing. It took healing. Straight up, it took healing. Charleston get under people's skin. And lie. I want to, I, right now I can make a... That this, nigga Charleston said my dad used to work, my dad used to work at the Gangstar Warehouse and used to fuck women at the job. Yeah. Like, bro, what the hell? What you know I don't know? Now let me tell you this. One of these rappers in Dallas that I don't like, mama offered me some pussy. Straight up. Don't say it. No, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. You no, see I, how that feels? I understand. But tell, we're not going to talk about no, that. No, no. Alpha me, some, it, no, no, alpha me like, pussy. We, see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Is that what you want me to start doing now? Every interview, yeah. Nigga? But no, really, really, one of these rappers that you don't bring, did. don't bring that up. Like, 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 call my phone. Don't bring that up. It was a lie too, too. I was gonna go, I was gonna break out a whole narrative lie about some pussy. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It destroyed, and it has this nigga coming back, and this nigga come back. We don't know the facts about the situation because we don't know what's going you was on. Real though. Huh? You was real? Nah. <laughs> a nice. <laughs> A nice mama that's still 37, 38 years old got a young, nice rapping son. Nah, man, we not gonna do that. <laughs> we not gonna do that. See, y'all see, people get, cause, cause say cheese, bro, you gotta understand, people love say cheese, bro. Cause I'm, you, you can I'm, be messy. I'm not messy at all. No, I no. you one messy thing No, today. no, 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 no. But you can come out here and, and, corrode, and control the narrative about situation, anything no, you wanna say. No, bro, people sometimes have a mission to get on a channel with almost 2 million subscribers, that gets 10 million views a month. And destroy themselves. And say what they want to say. And destroy themselves. I have no, I don't like that him and, and Yayo were beefing. I hate that CJ and, and, and Yayo were beefing. Shit was way more fun when everybody was cool. Shit was way so more out of, out of that era. I don't like it at all, bro. No, no, but no. that's how Yayo feel, I'm my nigga. That, and, and let me ask you a question. What rapper in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, have made you the most money? By, by post? By sending by sending people to spend my money, what rapper? Trap boy. So you should not be allowed to let me come in here and destroy him. I didn't let you destroy Trap. I ain't, I ain't got no problem even saying nothing about him. I'm saying, but I could I could have changed the whole narrative. Came in here and say, man, nigga, Trap Mama did this and Trap did this and Trap did this and Trap told on somebody because he only did. I wouldn't let you. No, do no, that. he only the Trap told on somebody since he only did seven months in the prison and a, on a gun case. I never seen that. Seen that he only did a fe- that I, I could destroy him. So if this part go out, then that's fucked up. Cause he help you make money, and he I, I can't hear say he only did. I wouldn't let you do that. I, I understand that you know it's not you letting it. It's just like when the camera's rolling, it's just a lane of course. That brings drama on you. I understand that, but some people don't. Some people are addicted to clout. They don't care about the drama. That's how they feed their family by destroying others. Now, if I talk about his rap, his music, people will go listen to that shit, and the stream should go up if it jams. Charleston haven't destroyed no lives, bro. That shit's WWE. You know that. You know Charleston like I know Charleston. Man, he could have destroyed my life. Hell yeah, he could have destroyed my life. I wasn't the person I would. Nigga, I used to wake up. I used to wake up and 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 and, and at my sleep and like, nigga, my, my nigga, some night my phone be ringing. So you, you hear what Charleston say? <laughs> nigga, grandmas and old people and, and people come and say, Charleston said this about you. 
Chalk said it's about to, yeah, that shit can destroy somebody's lives. I have watched them destroy lives. You got to be strong with Charleston. You, 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 some people not strong. That nigga sit there and talked about, talked about fucking niggas' mamas. He took a water bottle and said, "Duck mama like she like looked about like she throwing water like a horse a horse to blow hole. What the fuck? And you ain't on your channel. She didn't, he didn't say it on my channel. But he said, well, he said a lot. He have said a lot on your channel. He has said a Bro, lot. But he on tried my to channel. destroy the Dion. But you know when I'm out and about? What? When that next Charleston come exactly. out. Exactly. People love so that So you shit. love that shit too. You love, nigga, you watch it. No. Bro, we all love this I'll shit. I make sure he don't say nothing about me. We love Charleston because we know that shit is, she's a fucking character, bro. There's not no character. That's destroying people's lives. That could really destroy people's lives. He could destroy Dion. He have, he have really destroyed Dion. In no, Mississippi. he didn't. He did not, bro. Bro, don't Mississippi people say, yeah, Dion left us. That's fucked up, Dion left us. Dion probably can't go back to Mississippi. It's not, it's not Charleston fault. People don't got a mind of their fucking own. All you viewers need to have a mind of y'all fucking own, bro. J Man. J Man. You J Man, you could have destroyed J Man. How do I how? You gave J Man a platform to talk about a bunch of shit that he shouldn't even be brought up. Do you know you had you made a you made a platform for gangsters to go tell gangster stories? With with the him with Aunt Glizzy? And, no, him and Aunt Glizzy. I heard the story about him. That getting, shit, that nigga, that shit created no, something. No, no, for no, him. no, no, no. I'm saying, but him, him, him telling stories about this man, this, him putting a girl in front of him, getting shot up, like, like, like. That shit created. Yeah. Not, no way. That shit only. That shit helped J Man. It helped Tay Savage. It helped a lot. Everybody won off of that. So basically, so basically, everybody. My won. point is, you create the good things. And the bad things. But you got to accept the bad things. You create Okay, them. that's cool. Well, well, y'all. You always ask me, too. Did, um, did, um, by you interviewing, um, what's the dude in, um, the dude, uh, the, uh money, the, the real, uh, money, uh, Baton Rouge. Yeah. Oh, you got, you got him killed. No, I didn't get him killed. I didn't get him killed. He wanted to do an interview. This was the time him and him, he hit me up. He wanted an interview. This was the time him and Young Boy was going at it. I no, was... wait, God damn, let me talk. Uh -huh. He DM me. I said, "Bet." We did the interview. He said he fucked Young Boy's sister. How the fuck would I know that? <laughs> you didn't know Peso got robbed neither. Me either. <laughs> so I mean, that's what I'm saying. You should have cut it out. Why would I cut it out? Jay, Jay, Jay what was his name? The... When, 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 when Lil Ronnie uh got robbed, that shit was all over the blogs. Your blog is different. Your blog is So now I'm different. No, yes. I'm telling you, you're powerful. But when Adam do it, it's cool. Adam, a ain't nobody look at Adam shit but look white kids and gangbangers. We talking about niggas who's really living and want to be like rappers. Your, your, your channel is bigger than, it's the youth. It's the young niggas that's trying to find their way in life that's ready to crash out. Niggas just straight up. You, nigga, he, that boy should never say he fucked his sister. I agree. He would, I agree. That interview right there, and I understand it. So like I said, let's let, come on, let's name them out right quick. How many people have did interviews talking about another man and end up dead on your on your channel? The That's same it. people that interviewed Vlad. I know. The okay. same people that went on no jumper. No, no, yeah, yep. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. but but so why me? Your story is yours because you're not Adam. What? I, I'm, I know I'm not Adam. You get deeper than Adam. No, we don't. No, I don't. Shit. No, no, Vlad, you, Vlad gets deeper than no, all of us. No, no diddy. No, but you are. Vlad gets the deepest. But you allow. You allow. White people, no. White people can ask questions I can't ask, bro. No, you allow them just to talk and, and, and just ramble on and tell on themselves. Vlad does the same thing. No, Vlad asks the questions and they can hear the question come like this. So, so did you kill somebody? No. Nah. No, no, I ain't do that. some police shit. Then here they go on your channel. So, so what happened? No. Right? How you feel? That's yeah, not true. Yeah, so-and-so got killed. That's not true. Yes, yes. They talk more on Vlad and No Jumper because they're white. They're way more comfortable with them. Wait. When they sit down with me, it's more aggressive nigga versus nigga. You know how we act towards each other, bro. Black people towards each other is not a more comfortable thing, bro. It's more of a animosity. It's more a, a, what you call that? A, like, um, no, not competition, but when niggas give off, it's more... Testosterone, it's more like nigga. Like, you see how Finesse and, and Kevin Gates act towards me? That's how most rappers act towards me. But when they get on no jumper, 
when they get on when they get on Vlad, it's more they more friendly with them because they're white. And Adam and Vlad can act shit they want to act because they can play the dumb role. Oh well, I didn't know about that. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, come on what now. What they Adam do? Nigga, Adam. Young and Ace went and told Vlad way more he did. And when I asked him the same shit, he told me he he said he said I can't say that on your channel. Yeah, cause you're a blogger. Cause I'm black. Yeah, you're black. Okay, okay, you're right. When you, when black people tend to talk to black people, it's more of a shield, bro. We don't trust each other. Yeah, you're right. White people were slaves, bro. They turn into slaves when you talk to white people. So you don't feel like your channel more dangerous than no, nigga. You go in there, they say way more. With me and Sean, why would you ask me that? You see, black nigga, yeah. nigga, Yayo was about to fight me when I asked him what happened that day in Houston. Nigga, Sean, you know what happened, nigga. Sean, no, you know, you know, he would have never did that to Vlad or Adam, nigga, at, at all, cause they white. So we got to hear though. Sean feel like the history. Vlad and, and Adam. 